Welcome to the Social Marketing Course Map Part 2, in which we look at the second series of learning outcomes and the second assessment task. So, in the first learning outcome and the first assessment task, this was about the application of commercial marketing to social change. The second learning outcome is about understanding the changes that you need to make to marketing tools, techniques, and technologies in order for them to be most effective in social marketing. So the first round was almost a raw application, an unmodified application of the techniques in order to see how they can benefit social change. This round, it's about creating the scenario where you modify the marketing. You modify your tools and techniques to adapt, which is modifies the conditions, adopt, apply those modified, implement, use the frameworks to make decisions, use the modifications and the existing commercial frameworks to make decisions so that your marketing is focused around an audience-led, audience-relevant solution that is created, communicated, delivered, and exchanged with a specified audience, specified target market. Now, to do that, assessment task two requires you to live with some of the decisions you've already made. So basically, as an adaptation and adoption implementation, what you will be doing is solving the problem you outlined in round one. And this means that you are bound to your value offer, you are bound to your strategy, and your target markets may have been recommended to be refined. So depending on what you presented and how well you did in the first assessment task, you may have been given the opportunity to revise your target market. If you were presented that opportunity, I strongly endorse you take it for this assignment. Give us a sharper, more clarified, more defined audience. Because what you're going to do in the second task is take the marketing mix and any other marketing technique and build a solution for a specific audience. And the better you understand that audience, the easier your job becomes. So if you want to play on super hard, ultra difficult mode for a horrible experience with a terrible outcome, feel free to not specify. They'll give you a really good odds on getting a bare pass grade and an unpleasant semester. On the other hand, if you actually want to do this for the points and best fit and least suffering, use a narrowly defined framework. Go really narrow on your target audience. Clarify it down again if you can, if you're splitting, if you've got demographics that you can break further or additional evidence. And I'm going to really hammer this because your marketing mix must be relevant to your audience. Your single, specific, narrowly defined target market is now going to be the basis for which you will create your offer. So, if you have, in the first paper, introduced a strategy that says we're going to add a new product, everything in this product mix, everything in this marketing mix has got to be about that new product. If you say that you are going to take an existing product to a new audience, then that product's going to need to be specified, and that distribution point is going to be driven out of that, how do we get this existing product to that new audience, it's going to be driven out of distribution, or maybe it's driven out of price. Whatever your decision is, it has to influence how you use the mix. There's no generic cookie cutters here, there's no preset templates. You get 
to set the answer. And you get to make the decisions. And that's all of the fun in this, is that you get to you now turn around and go, this is my audience, this is the game plan I want to take up, this is how I'm going to deliver. So, on technicals front, your task activities, you're going to briefly tell me about the target market again, you're going to remind me. You are going to talk about the target focal point of change. So, who this audience is, what it is you are out to change, so the current behavior, the current attitudes. Then we're going to do a little bit of benefits, competition benefits. So, I want you to be able to give me an assessment of what it is you're trying to outbid. What is it you're trying to beat? Why is someone using this? So what's the benefit of your of the behavior they're currently doing that you want to replace? Then you're gonna go replace it. A consumer focused solution that is superior to the competitive offer you're up against. This gives you the whole of the marketing mix. This gives you everything in marketing at your disposal. And this is why you need that clarity of audience. You need to know who they are and why they're getting the benefit they're getting from the behavior you want to change so you can make them a better offer. In this, now this slide I want you to be aware of. This is not a set of subheadings, this slide. You need throughout to be using marketing theories. This is adapt and adopt time. This is find a framework, make it fit, then acknowledge it. Adapt, adopt, implement. Also on the way through, this is an opportunity to be mindful of the ethical impacts. Right at the very start, right at the top of the season, there was a discussion around stakeholders. Stakeholder theory, why stakeholders were important. That now comes back to be a means by which you can examine the ethics of what you're offering or how you're offering. Also, bluntly, ethics are on the final exam. This is a really good warm up. This is a really great place for you to go and think through as you are performing the tasks. As you are being a marketer, thinking about a solution, how do you solve a problem? To also be thinking, what is the ethical consideration in what I'm doing? Is what I'm doing ethical? Are there barriers? Are there concerns I should be raising with myself? Or if you're working in a group, with my teammate. All right, technical specifications. Uh, Basically what you're looking at here, again, very similar in specs and design to the first assignment. Plus minus 10% word count rule applies. Uh, it says individual, it's group optional. I'm not that mean that I would actually go and make you do everything in the subject um, fully. So you can do group if you want. Uh, you also, presentation requirements come back to the same deal again. Any reference format that suits you and is a strong point for you, you must use references. I must know where you are using references, so in-text formatting is the way to go. Uh, font sizes, same deal again. Make it readable for me, make my life easier and we're all happy. Run it through Turnitin. There will be draft reads available, so you can check. There is no way in the existence of anything anywhere should any sentence in this assignment have any reason to text match unless you are excruciatingly unlucky. This is your. This is you. This is about you and your interpretation and you and your group coming up with your take on how you're going to solve a problem you've identified with the marketing tools and techniques you want to use on an audience that you've outlined. It's all you. It's going to be great. You're going to really 
get to show off how good you are as a marketer. So that's assessment task two. It is both a sequel and an original in its own right. You are using principles, ideas, frameworks, and decisions you made in round one. Consequences have occurred. Decisions have consequences. Actions have outcomes. Choices, when they are made, eliminate other possibilities. This is what we do as marketers. This is what we do as social marketers. This is training. This is giving you a chance to pick off an audience from a list of possible audiences and say, this one, I want to go make a difference for these people in this audience. And that's what we do. This is our job. And this is your training. So as always, if you need me, particularly on this one, feel free to line up a bunch of face-to-face -face meetings. Feel free to chat about things over Twitter. There's a lot of decision making. There's a lot of points where workshopping becomes important. So feel free to draw my skill set. This is what I do as a professional social marketer and someone who's been in the game of social change for nearly 20 years. These are the decisions that I make. So I have some experience in going down this path and also in that moment of going, if I do X, that eliminates the rest of the alphabet from being able to be used. Being able to make those decisions, I can help you with that. I can workshop through, look at if-then scenarios, all these things. My skill sets are available to you as an asset that you can draw on. But you've got to draw on them. You've got to come see me, you've got to talk to me, you've got to message me in order to access them.